Well, speaking of drama, your uh, YouTube channel has been my guilty pleasure over the last uh, couple of months. You know what? I, I love your content, and I can tell you're you're a, a, an intelligent guy. I don't know what your background is exactly, but you seem to understand physics. I noticed a couple of other videos that were completely like off-topic recently that were were um, really showcased your, your your intellect and what. what What's your background in terms of what did you do before guitars, man? Because you're, uh, I'm not saying guitars don't require brain power, but you've obviously got a little no, bit no, more no, intelligence I, I, I than, than the average YouTuber. No, the um, before I um, started building guitars, I was in the army, and then uh, but before the army, I was an auto mechanic, and I loved mechanics. Ever since I was a kid, I was fixing things and figuring out how things worked and mm -hmm. uh, and whatnot, trying to invent stuff. And um, I went in the army, and then I did well in the army until I hurt my back, and then I got out. And then I was trying to find a career um, that would suit basically my art and my creativeness and everything, yeah, cool. but something that paid the bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I, I ended up getting into construction. And um, during the time that I was in construction and stuff, I was also uh, finishing up my schooling. So um, I ended up uh, getting my bachelor's in uh, bioinformatics, and wow. um, and people always go, "What the hell is that?" Yeah, okay. that's my next question. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> bio bioinformatics is ultimately uh, microbiology with computer programming, and there's a lot of stuff involved uh, in the bioinformatics fields that you're doing gene research, yeah, right. um, you're you're doing uh, re research for uh, drug companies mm -hmm. looking at certain proteins, seeing what the active sites are and stuff, and then you're you're taking the, the stuff from here and then trying to create a computer model of these proteins and trying to manipulate them and seeing how they interact with different chemicals and, and molecules and stuff, and you end up uh, getting uh, new drugs from it. You know, you end up finding certain genes within a certain uh, uh, strand of DNA or whatever, and you say, ah, oh, this is what's responsible for making the person fat. This is what's responsible for making the person, you know, get cancer, and then you, you figure out ways to splice that out and change it up. So there's it, it's there's a lot of stuff involved in that. Um, but <clears throat> from uh, construction and everything, I never even worked in that field. By the way, after I got my bachelor's in that, mm -hmm. I never worked in the field. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <clears throat> they all want uh, master's degrees or uh, PhDs, right? And bachelor's just wasn't going to work. Um, but with the construction thing, um, it just started turning into some people would, you know, they'd be asking for things like, uh, can you build an entertainment center or, or something? And it started turning, can you build a bed? Can you build this? And so <laughs> yeah. my my woodworking that, you know, from building homes and all this other stuff, all of a sudden turned into furniture and, and whatnot. And I had been playing the guitar since high school. And then one day um, I said, you know, why in the hell don't I build my own guitar? You, you know, and I was afraid that there was something secret and special about the neck and the frets. And yeah, yeah. if you don't do it just right, you're going to screw it up and things going to warp. And I, I built a guitar and I was like, that was a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> yeah, well. And um, yeah, from there is when I started building more and more guitars. Some friends of mine that are so much better at playing than I am, you know, um, <clears throat> I asked them, I said, hey, tell me your ideal guitar because I'm going to build it. Yeah, and uh, so he's like, "Well, I need this, this, and this, and this is where Tonewood started with me." By the way, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he says it has to be ebony, it has to be, <clears throat> it has to be Karina. The body has to be Karina. It has yeah. to be like this. And he's going through, and in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, well, he knows what he's talking about. He's so much of a better guitarist, and he's been playing so much longer. And <clears throat> acoustically, when I pick up an electric, I can hear a difference. And so it seemed. Um, it seemed counterintuitive for me to think anything other than that. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and then as time went by, I got better and better at it. And I started thinking I can improve upon uh, these designs. Yeah. And so I started doing experiments with body shapes and stuff like that. And I started taking what I knew about physics and other aspects of mechanics and started putting that into the guitar thing. Um, but I still believed in tone wood. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and then, uh, just one day I was sitting there and this is when I started getting more and more business and I, I started kind of getting a little bit known, um, not so much in the general public, but among people in the industry, they, they know who I am. 
and uh, not all of them. I yeah, mean, that'd yeah. be arrogant, you know. But um, I I started seeing people talk about Tonewood being bullshit and it's not real, and it was pissing me off. And I said, you know something, I'm going to prove that wood makes a difference. So I ended up making all these different guitars and. I swapped out the pickups and all this other stuff and I'm playing them through clean and I'm like, I don't really hear that big of a difference or any difference at all. And yeah. and I thought something's got to be wrong. Something's got to be wrong. Yeah, yeah. And it was uh, what was wrong is that uh, on a solid body electric guitar it really doesn't make that big of a difference. And, you know, I, I went through all the physics over it and everything trying to figure out why it did what it did and soon as i went public with that good lord i've been catching shit ever since yeah it's like you've, it, you've exposed uh you've exposed something that i guess that uh, a lot of people have just had drilled into them for for a long long time that uh you know like uh on my last podcast uh freaking prawn mentioned that uh, you can really hear that mahogany sound you know over the, the yeah. swap ash or or whatever and uh yeah i think you're i think you're right i in terms of electric guitars, I got two that are basically identical to each other. Just the the woods are different on the body. They sound exactly the same. Same pickups, sound, same setup. But I think, you know, the sustain thing that people talk about, it it comes down to probably, well, my impression of it, and I'm not a guitar builder, would it be more the hardware that's on the guitar that would give you more sustain over it, the actual it, well, wood it, itself? You, you kind of really do have to look at the total picture of it. Yep. Um and it usually, usually, unless there's something really bonkers about the way that the guitar is built, usually it's going to be things uh, like uh, your pickups and your, your bridge. Those are your yeah. two main things. Yeah. Um, then from there, the next would probably be like your frets. Yeah. 